Israeli forces have expanded their offensive against Hamas in the south of Gaza. International pressure is growing for Israel to scale down its attacks on Rafah after officials reported at least 48 people were killed in airstrikes in the last 24 hours. As British politicians have been arguing over political process in Westminster, the Israeli military has continued fighting Hamas in Gaza and the humanitarian situation amongst Palestinian civilians is getting worse there. Although Israel hasn't yet launched a ground invasion of Rafah, they have carried out more airstrikes on the town in the south of Gaza. Four people were killed when a mosque and residential building were hit in the last 24 hours. The mosque was struck by two rockets. See all those houses that were destroyed here. They were houses for displaced people and people coming from outside. The whole block and the one behind us was totally destroyed, as you can see. More than a million Palestinians are sheltering in Rafah. The Israeli government has threatened to invade if the hostages taken by Hamas on October the 7th aren't released by Ramadan in just over two weeks' time. International aid organisations and an increasing number of foreign governments, including the British and American, are warning Israel not to launch the operation. In reality, a vote in the House of Commons in Westminster is not going to change the course of the war in Gaza. It's not going to change the opinion of the Israeli government and it's not going to change opinions here at the Israeli Knesset. But it does signal a growing shift in global opinion amongst lawmakers around the world that a ceasefire in Gaza is now needed sooner rather than later. Today, the aid organization Médecins Sans Frontières gave this warning to the UN Security Council. For 138 days, we have done everything we can to enact a meaningful humanitarian response. For 138 days, we have watched the systematic obliteration of a health system we have supported for decades. We have watched our patients and our colleagues be killed and maimed. This situation is the culmination of a war Israel is waging on the entire population of the Gaza Strip. A war of collective punishment, a war without rules, a war at all costs. On Wednesday night, a Jordanian Air Force plane dropped British humanitarian aid for a hospital in northern Gaza. It is one of the only ways to get aid into the north of the Strip right now. <laughs> There is a desperate need on the ground for the most basic supplies, food, water, medicine. People are looting trucks for whatever they can get. The UN is struggling to deliver aid to some areas of Gaza. It is images like these that are driving politicians and diplomats around the world to try and find an end to the fighting. Alistair Bunker, Sky News in Jerusalem.